Mm. Yeah, so um, today we're looking at um, student leadership, um, being a political science lecturer. And then um, your background, um, I mean, how was student leadership your days yeah. on campus? Well, thank you very much. Actually, uh, essentially, Issues that really bothered on um, student activities, their life at the university's academic work, dominated the politics there. And those leaders who identified themselves with this and demonstrated that they could really engage the um, university authorities in a matured manner to help find solutions to this came out as leaders. So essentially, it had to do with the politics producing leaders that could Okay, so um, how different is that from what is happening currently? Uh, what I can say about what is happening currently, you know, would not necessarily come from participation in the political process. Okay. I'm no longer a student, so I only look at things from a distance. And as it is, I'm not necessarily, you know, get down collected data to really okay. get to know what is happening. But, of course, um, I hear students, you know, talk about issues. Some um, aspiring uh, leaders, once a while you are in a lecture, they come, they excuse you, they want to talk to the students, okay. hear the things they talk about. And then some other, uh, you know, problem difficulties that students express on daily basis, you know exactly that when these people who are advocated for you know, students to simply on certain issues, get them to lead them. Eventually, when they become leaders, their interest. So, in a way, yes, one is able to relate to what pertains here on campus, KNUS specifically, with respect to student politics, their leaders, what really, at the end of the day, are the things that the leaders are interested in. Today, I, make a, I made a remark in class, you know, with respect to social soul leadership, and then POSA leadership, the practice of these individuals having their pictures um, uh, at the back of the entire group's uh, Some time ago, the pictures were, you know, on the front, um, uh, you know, um, uh, on the front part of the entire books. And uh, I really wondered why they want people to specifically get to know the individuals who are leading the students in various capacities. And and to me, it's an element of the caliber of the leaders we have now. I want to believe that if um, everything has become a self-centered type of thing rather than the leaders going out to address issues that really affect student lives here on campus, the academic work, you know, it is relating to this. Okay, so from the little that you know, um, um, how would you assess the, the leadership so far in terms of proactivity? Well, you want to believe that um, when certain issues come up really that uh, uh, are topical in character, then the students definitely demonstrate, you know, at least some leadership qualities. They address the issues. How do you believe that? Uh, they are quite good in terms of proactivity. But, you know, the, the, the main issue that to me, uh, you know, establishes the difference between students, leaders of today, you know, from those of yesterday, if you like, the years gone by, how to do with the, with the issues that constitute the politics here. They are not necessarily those things that students uh, want to get done uh, so that uh, the, the quality of their life here on campus, the academic work, be improved. You know, essentially, I think the interests have all become parochial ones, you know, personal ones. Okay, so what basically would you say are the qualities, or would be the qualities of a very good student leader? The one who has to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of what is going on here. Politics has to do with mobilizing uh, people, getting them to really participate in the processes that will bring, uh, if you like, add to the quality of life wherever they find themselves. In the case of students, the leadership that will really demonstrate understanding of what, why they are here as students, what they've got to do, what are the hitches, and what should be done to address them. 
I think this should define, you know, a good leader. So uh, here, uh, talking about them is one thing, because generally in politics we don't really uh, emphasize too much on good intentions. It's the ability to give. So one thing that uh, I always believe we want to be able to do, you know, is to really uh, be able to use the resources available to students, bring them um, uh, in such a way that students who at the end of the day benefit from them, you know, make their resources useful to them. So an individual or individual who is able to demonstrate to the large extent also, you know, get one to understand that actually they are going to even if, if you like uh, uh put in measures that will enable students even to um come out and get them to account for their uh, stewardship while in office because let us say they don't have any way of getting those who have been elected to in a way account for anything at the end of the day they just go out and that is it. whatever it okay is, um, it. so mr Mache, um what what are some of the possible ways you think we can get our leaders to be or account to us? What should we put in place to enable the leaders account, account to us? Yeah. The it has to do a constitutional review. It has to it has to do with a constitutional review. Um, the impression I get is that uh, the students uh, students uh, constitution in a way uh, are, are such that uh, there are some flaws there. Unlike the national constitution, where one would seek re-election, at, at which point you can talk about real accountability, you know, student leaders are not necessarily having to go for re-election. So once they get elected, there's no way they are made to account for their stewardship in any way. On the strength of this, on the basis of this, I think they should go for a constitutional review and find some sort of mechanism to enable a student body really get serving leaders to account for leadership and even to suggest some punitive actions, you know, on those who, who I mean, uh, who, who will be found, you know, to have really uh, made personal use of a, a student fund. Okay. Um, I don't know if you had, uh, if, you've, if you've had a copy uh, of the SRC Constitution. I have not gone through it yet. I'm okay. Not, I'm, I'm okay. Not, I've not seen one. So, so what, what would be your advice to um, prospective student leaders now that it's an election semester? I think they want to live here as people students will remember as not just coming in to serve their own interests, but people who indeed uh, will leave imprints in the mind of the student population that they are leaders that serve them, that serve you know the student body, yeah, but not rather individuals who simply came in to pursue personal agendas.